episode 14, doing stuff with Aaron. My name's Aaron. This is Veronica. <laughs> I brought her out in the rain today to go retrieve my sunglasses, which are up there. We're going to head up the mountain for a bit of a hike and cook today. I've got a few steaks. Brought my little pellet gun here to fart around with and I uh, brought my surface so I can do a little designing underneath the tarp in the rain. So join me, let's head up the hill and uh, do episode 14. Like, how do you not get excited walking up the hill into this? So it's like cold and rainy the entire way here and I'm way overdressed. It's hot out. <laughs> I don't want to stop until I get to the top of the hill here though. Super muggy. My bad. Can't tell with the weather. Like it looks like it's going to pour still. That's Vancouver for you. Fun walk though. I'm out of shape, man. <laughs> Former postie. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's the weekend. Oh, not really. You're going back to work by the time you watch this. <laughs> well, stopped in the shade here for a few minutes to derobe. I was sweating. Oh, I dropped my sweater. Okay, we're almost there. Has anybody been to our campsite? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Success! And it just so happens, <laughs> just so happens it's sunny out too. <laughs> but the sun is about to disappear. <laughs> wow. This is nice. Look at those clouds. Wouldn't that be cool to go up to the top of that mountain? I really like this spot. So I can't decide if I should just chill here or uh, go somewhere new. I hear that waterfall over there again. Let's go check that out. Do you hear it? There's a 
trail here. There's definitely a flow of water down there. Won't be a good place to cook probably, but definitely worth checking out. Oh, snap. Sweet. Ah, spider webs everywhere. I bet you that's a pretty cool hike down there. Yeah, it's not really what I'm into today though. I'll definitely hike that another day. I'm starving today, so. Probably is not coming up on the camera as good as I can see it. Sweet. Let's go around this corner up here. <laughs> There's all sorts of spider webs hanging from my hat. Well, I kind of had a feeling there would be another spot up here. <laughs> Holy. This is absolutely Fantastic. There's my campsite uh, right there from last time. Well, Let's hope the rain stays away and uh, let's get set up. This is awesome. some of these nails. I don't want to cook in all these nails. So it's probably burning pallets, I would imagine.
Well, just like that, we're relaxing right as it starts to rain. And I just realized there's not really a good place to set up a tarp here. I might have to get creative. Someone's coming up this logging road with like eight dogs right now too. Like, come on, man. You gotta be freaking kidding me. This is so awesome. I'm way up on top of the mountain. <laughs> I just had a visit from like seven dogs. That was awesome. <laughs> Look at this. I think you can see the dogs. There goes the dogs. <laughs> There's an eagle flying up there. Snow-capped mountains. Chilliwack Lake in the distance. Well, the river, but the lake is right on the other side of that mountain. Or foothill, whatever you want to call this thing. That is coming right now over top of my head, and I think I'm gonna get soaked. And I don't really have a place to set up a tarp. Oh well, let's just get wet. I'm enjoying myself. It's a weird weather. It's cloudy and then sunny and then cloudy, so it's cold and then hot and then cold. Ooh, I'm a bit too close. Um, I forgot I brought some beers. I don't care if I'm driving. I'm still drinking, man. Big beer! Pick it up in a second. Cheers. Oh, it's nice and cold. And it's natural cane sugar. What this really needs is a paper straw. Man, do I love paper straws. It's hot.
that. I'm just trying to fit in the frame. Anyways, we got steak. You know what? I took my knife out of my pocket because it was uh, digging into my hip while I was driving here. And I left it in the car. So, uh, just clean that off a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Oh, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Meat on top of a mountain. So we got garlic salt, salt, pepper paprika, and cayenne, and dirt. Napoleon Dynamite style, baby. Can I cut you a piece? <laughs> so that was fun, let's do that again. This time we're uh, greeking it up. This stuff is awesome. Not too much, not too muddle, just the right amount. Shout out to Matthew Poza. It's a good camping channel, Matthew Poza, check it out. I also like Joe Robinette and uh, My Self Reliance, which is Sean James. Check those other channels out uh, if you like this kind of content. State number two. Should we flip this bad boy? It almost looks like a Pepe. <laughs> There's his eyes and his face. Is that a Pepe right there? See the Pepe? Snaggletooth Pepe. Stink. Okay, stink number two. Woo! The plate's hot. Too close to the uh, fire. <laughs> that was it. I'm just gonna let this sit for a second and cool off. Man, does that look good. Look at that. Dang. Napoleon Dynamite, eat your heart out. 
Okay, let's do this. Chop into either my leg or the steak. <laughs> oh my lord. Mom, I think that's the best one yet. And you know my name is Aaron and I like to go camping. Come, let's go camping with me. Come, let's go camping with me. Hello everyone, my name's Aaron. <laughs> Hands down, best steak I've made so far. Chop, chop, chop. Dudes. Dudes. Look at that bad boy. Here's my thumbnail. Last bite. That was probably one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Okay, so it looks like somebody went up and stuck a pop can on the stump up there to do exactly what I'm going to do right now. And take a few shots at it. Okay, that was horrible. Let's zoom in so you can see it. See the pop can? There it is. I'll try it from a sitting position. Ooh. <laughs> so close. I think I might be hitting it actually. That sounded like it went in. That was definitely it. I got an idea.
<laughs> Hit it. Dinner's done. And uh, it's a fun with the pellet gun. I didn't do any designing though. I don't know. I don't like sticking my face in the computer, I don't think, when I'm out here. It's twice now I've brought it and I haven't really used it, so maybe I won't do that anymore. But then you know what? It's gonna rain the next time. I'm gonna be stuck in the tent and I'm gonna be like, ah, I should have brought it. Anyways, episode 14, retrieving the sunglasses was a success, I think. Um, maybe we'll stop off at Petro Canada and uh, hand out some gas cards. I brought some with me. There's that sun. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me so far. I'm not sure if this will be the end of it or not, but uh, if it is, take care. normal out here. It's a good escape. I highly recommend if you're stuck in the city to uh, try to get out into the trees. Oops. And uh, away from the cell phone signals. Go for a walk, man. Take that. Take your take your mask off. If you're walking alone by yourself, take your freaking mask off. Do silly, man. Use your brain. Anyways, be safe, everybody. Catch you soon. That thing again. Someone send me the money and I'll rent a truck and come up here and tear that thing apart, film it, take it to the dump. And thank you. Sun came back out. You know what? If that uh, camper thing goes well, I'll come back and do this freaking disaster too. I'll just spend like two days. I should do it. I wonder how much that'll cost. Three, four, five hundred bucks. <laughs>